Okay, it's been about a month since I last updated the uh, video for aquaponics. Quite a few things have changed. Um, probably the most significant is we've added uh, two LED broad spectrum grow lights. Uh, these are 300 watt equivalent. They draw just under 200 watts each from the wall. Uh, that's, that's probably been the most significant thing along with the plantings have changed. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the plantings first and see what's, uh, what's going on with that. So uh, one of the things we did is we removed the green beans. They were very leggy and really weren't producing and replaced it with a few other things. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see the chives there. The chives are doing pretty well. Uh, the snow peas have produced quite well. You can see there's some flowers on some of them. Let me, I'm going to go in tight so you can see the flowers. Okay, so there's some, some flowers. We've kind of just been snacking on these things as they produce. And it makes a nice little snack. So one of the changes um, that we made was as the system began to mature, pH began to drop, which is normal in an aquaponic system as uh, the colonies of nitrifying bacteria increase. And so when pH got down to about 6, I grew a little worried about the fish. And what uh, some people are doing, and we tried, was to use dried crushed eggshells uh, in, in the little cup where the water runs into the bed. And uh, the way I understand it is the eggshells will deplete themselves as the pH needs to be buffered. So that's pretty cool and pH has been rock solid at about 6.4, 6.6 for the last month. Uh, you can see the lettuce is doing pretty well. Uh, the tomatoes are coming up. We did build a frame uh, to support some of the taller plants as they grow and uh, we put that in. So that's been a change as the tomato plants started getting bigger and we figured we may need a way of supporting them. Um, okay, I'm going to go back in tight again and show you something else that we did. Okay, you'll notice uh, on, on the lids, on the tops of my uh, media guards, I put some little styrofoam caps. The reason for it is once we put in the grow lights, we started getting a whole lot of algae growth on the inside of the media guard. So the little styrofoam caps let the air in but keep uh, most of the light out and algae growth has diminished quite a bit. Uh, you can see we've got some uh, red stem, uh, what is that, kale over there. That's uh, doing really well. The tomatoes here are doing pretty good. Uh, got a lot of pepper plants. I am experiencing a leaf curl on nearly all of my pepper plants. Not quite sure what's going on there, but the plants other than that seem to be really healthy. Um, one cool thing, hang on, let me show you this from this angle. So that's, uh, that's rosemary, I'm sorry, that's lavender that we planted from seed that's coming up. So we thought that was pretty cool. Uh, there's a, quite a few other herbs. We also did a few strawberry clippings just to see what that would do. The last time we tried it didn't work well, but we'll try it again. And uh, let's see what else we got here. The peppers are looking really good. Again, these are probably at about six to eight weeks since we seeded this. So it's doing really well. Okay, here's, here's another big change we made. Um, I started noticing that the, uh, the water level, I was, I was depleting about a gallon a day through evaporation and uh, respiration from the plants. So, you know, the bell siphons really rely on a fairly constant uh, head for the pump. So what I did is I put in this little five gallon pail and uh, it's, it's got a drip irrigation nozzle. And what I use this for is I fill it up with five gallons and let it slowly drip into the sump. And that kind of helps maintain a constant water level. Uh, in addition, what I started doing is I started supplementing with chelated iron and um, a seaweed fertilizer called Maxi Crop. So it gets uh, five milliliters of Maxi Crop a week and 2.5 grams of chelated iron and uh, it's getting its calcium from the eggshells. Okay, we're, we're probably going to harvest a little bit of this lettuce uh, just to have a meal with uh, sometime this weekend and then I believe this, the lettuce will continue to produce. Um, 
so that's kind of neat and I'm thinking that's about it for the update I'm trying to do this a little differently this time uh, maybe try to get these done more timely so that's kind of where we are with it uh, so far uh, the problems have become less and less uh, probably the, the biggest nuisance was getting the bell siphons to balance properly and um, and, and, and be uh, predictable in their cycle times and how well they cycled. So that's it. Um, I'll probably do another update, uh, hopefully when we start getting a little fruit on this. Um, so thanks for watching. Oh, one thing I, I forgot to mention, um, the uh, nitrite, uh, nitrate levels um, are holding pretty steady between 40 and 80 parts per million. Uh, despite the plant's growth, it uh, doesn't seem like it's depleting nitrate, so we're going to stay at our current feed rate and fish population. Uh, and I've already said pH is stable between 6.4 and 6.6 with really no intervention at all. So there you go. See you later. Bye.